If a golfer is going to be remembered, he must win the title at St. Andrews. At last, it is my greatest dream come true. These words were spoken by Jack Nicholas, a two-time winner of the St. Andrews Open Championship. Golf is a pretty old sport, where locations hold a level of sentiment for the players. These courses have a whole lot of history behind them. Today, we'll learn about where golf began. The old course at St. Andrews goes by the Old Lady, or the Grand Old Lady. It is considered the oldest golf course in the world and the home of golf. Having been around since the early 15th century, this golf course is a favorite of great players like Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. The famed golf course will be the location for the 150th Open Championship. The old course has the most landmarks with stories behind every bunker, contour, relief, and feature of all golf courses. From cursed hills and hollows, bones of dead men buried somewhere on the course, to sheep nestling in the many bunkers present on the course, St. Andrews has many stories to tell. The legendary Tiger Woods will only stay in a particular room at the Old Course Hotel whenever he plays at St. Andrews. That room was chosen for a particular reason that will be revealed later in this video. St. Andrews is one of Tiger Woods' favorite golf courses and is highly revered among professional golfers. Unlike most courses, St. Andrews can be played in any direction. If you want to play the old course, you'll pay a pretty hefty price per round since you are not a local resident. All you need to know about St. Andrews, the grand old lady, will be revealed in this video. The Old Course The first Open Championship took place at Prestwick on October 17, 1860. Eight Scottish professional golfers played a game of three rounds at 12 holes per round in a tournament that would grow to become one of the biggest in the golfing world. At the Grand Old Lady, the St. Andrews Lynx, golf has been played for more than 600 years. People have been playing golf at St. Andrews Lynx since the 14th century. James II banned golf in 1457 because he felt younger men spent too much time playing golf rather than practicing archery. The ban was upheld by James III, but in 1502, it was removed by James IV, who loved playing golf. People started playing officially again in St. Andrews in 1552, when Archbishop Hamilton's charter recognized the people's right to play golf at the links. The town of St. Andrews is pretty old. It was originally the town of Kilramont. In 736 AD, a monk, St. Rule, brought the bones of St. Andrew, the brother of St. Peter, the first pope from Greece, to a monastery in Kilramont. By 1000 AD, the town became the headquarters of the Scottish Church and was called St. Andrews. The town became a pilgrimage site for most of Britain and became wealthy. The cathedral was founded in 1160, and St. Andrews University was founded in 1413. The old course at St. Andrews is a public course over common land in St. Andrews, Scotland. It is held in trust by the St. Andrews Lynx Trust under an Act of Parliament. This course wasn't the initial golfing grounds of St. Andrews. When a new course was opened in 1895, it became the old course. St. Andrews Lynx is almost 300 hectares large, while the castle course is almost 90 hectares. The first Open Championship with the Claret Jug The first 11 editions of the Open Championship were held at Prestwick. The winner was presented with a challenge belt, not the Claret Jug. There was no Open Championship in 1871, but a new trophy was settled upon in 1872. The Claret Jug is a silver pitcher made by McKay Cunningham & Company in Edinburgh. Young Tom Morris, the son of Old Tom, should have won the Claret Jug in 1872, but it was not ready in time. The first time the iconic Claret Jug was presented to the champion was at St. Andrews. It was presented to Tom Kidd a St. Andrews caddy who won the 13th Open Championship at St. Andrews. However, the Claret Jug has young Tom Morris's name inscribed on it as the first winner. The Open Championship has been played on St. Andrews 29 times, more than any golf course in history, and it will be returning again for the 30th time for the historic 150th Open Championship. The St. Andrews Lynx Golf Academy features four technology studios equipped with the latest coaching systems, including biomechanics. It has more than 60 practice bays, 22 of those indoors, 
It also has a short game area explicitly designed for Lynx Golf, with greenside and fairway bunkers. There are also three practice greens and a putting green. Interesting facts about St. Andrews. Old Tom Morris, who was born in St. Andrews in 1821, played a significant role in the golf course's design. He won the British Open four times and designed most of the great golf courses in Scotland. Old Tom used to make clubs and balls before becoming the keeper of the greens. He built a thriving club and ball business in St. Andrews in 1865. That shop still stands in the same place today. The Grand Old Lady has the most landmarks compared to other golf courses. It has endless hills and hollows that have been cursed, each with its own name and a chilling story behind it. The 18th Green has actual skeletons buried in the ground. The 18th Green was designed and raised by Old Tom Morris. Morris claims that it has been built over the bones of dead men. Not every fact about St. Andrews is gloomy. The world's first female golfer played golf at St. Andrews. Mary, Queen of Scots, was a member of the local golf club. The old course was initially played in one direction, with greens used for inward and outward holes. After introducing the present first green in the 1870s, it became possible to play the course backward. Since 2008, the course has been played backward on Friday, Saturday, and Monday of the first weekend in April. When playing in reverse, you tee off the first to the 17th green, then finish from the second tee to the 18th green. You can't play golf on Sundays at St. Andrews. A golf tournament like the Open Championship is the only exception. On Sunday, the course is opened to the townspeople as a park where they can have picnics or a walk. The old course is not easy to play on. There are bunkers which could be pretty troublesome to play out of, but they make every round interesting. According to the stories, these bunkers occurred naturally and were left there by the keeper of the green. The bunkers were made by sheep. The course doubled as a place for grazing sheep back in the early days. The sheep weren't a great fan of the strong winds that blew on the course. The sheep will join forces and burrow into the ground to protect themselves from these winds, creating holes they can hide in till the wind dies down. The old course has 112 bunkers, each with its own name and a story behind them. The most famous bunkers are the road bunker on the 17th hole and the 10-foot deep hell bunker on the 14th hole. The first and 18th holes don't have bunkers. St. Andrew's Lynx Trust employs about 400 people during peak season. It is one of the largest employers in St. Andrews. The annual turnover of the trust is around $25.7 million. The trust is a charitable organization, and all the surpluses are reinvested into the Lynx. St. Andrews is a popular course in golfing history. The 2015 Open Championship held at the course generated more than $171.7 million for the economy. The Significance of St. Andrews to the Golfing World In 1754, 22 noblemen, landowners, and professors founded the Society of St. Andrews Golfers. This society became the precursor to the royal and ancient governing body for golf everywhere, apart from the United States and Mexico. When the United States Golf Association was formed in 1894, they followed the Royal and Ancient Golf Club for a while before they began interpreting the rules for themselves. In 1797, St. Andrew's Lynx went bankrupt, and this historic golf course was almost shut down for good. The town council decided to allow rabbit farming to challenge golf for popularity on the golf course. This resulted in a legal battle that lasted for 20 years before James Cheap of Strathtyrum bought the land saving the links for golf. The old course evolved without the help of an architect for many years. Notable design changes were made by Daw Anderson in the 1850s and Old Tom Morris from 1865 to 1908. Old Tom Morris designed the first and 18th holes. Architects have traveled from far and wide to look at the old course and copy its features, strategy, and style. Tiger's Special Room Tiger's special room number at the Old Course Hotel is 269. He chose this particular room because 269 is the number of strokes it took him to win his first Open Championship in St. Andrews back in 2000. One fantastic fact about St. Andrews is that golf was free to play for everyone on the course till 1913. Locals kept playing for free till 1946. Guests pay $218 per round while locals pay $200 every year. 
More than 230,000 rounds are played every year on the seven courses at St. Andrews. About 45,000 rounds are played on the old course. Guests amount to about 40% of the games played on the golf course. What's your favorite feature or fun fact about this ancient golf course? Feel free to tell us in the comment section. Be sure to check out your favorite golf video here. See you there.